I remember then that we were just there. The, you know, being a complex, and you have many other, not less than 80 lock-up shops in that complex. They see the agility with which we do things. Most of the times, some of them even see us as maybe something has gone wrong with our head. Because we come there every day, they can't really tell what we are doing. They see that we just were so passionate. Now, one of them walked into our office and said, guys, I see that you are so passionate about marketing and like that. I have this land in uh, Mowui of Adao. Can you guys help me sell the land? I would say, why not? I went to real estate too, uh, let's see. Because before then too, we were marketing real estate for Dr. Lumide Emanuel, Common Sense Group. You know, He happens to be one of the early people that started the kind of real estate we are doing now. So we sold plots for him then and end commissions. The man took us to my way of father, we saw the place, and it was just two acres of land. So, oh God, this one is too small. We thought you have plenty of land to sell. Who sold this land to you? He introduced the agent there. Oh God, we want to help him sell. Do you have more land that we can sell? Yeah, the man, the agent said, why not? Ah, maybe you can sell. Me, I have land to sell. But go and bring one million naira. <laughs> so we told him, ah, man, we don't have one million. But give us time, we'll go and look for money. So we were able to gather 250,000. And went back to him and said, sir, we don't have one million. This is 250,000. Give us access to this land. We will sell it and bring your money. And that was how he agreed. 250,000 we gave him. He said, okay, take 17 acres of land. Go and sell, but pay me back in six months. I, gave one, I think one year then, yeah. So he said six months, we negotiated for one year. And that was how we went, raised money, printed flyers. Real estate business has started. Turned to what it is today. <laughs> no, I think we sold a plot then for 400,000 Naira. So it means what you bought at an average of maybe 180,000, yeah, about, you're selling for 400,000. That was how we sold because we were just starting. That same plot later became 500, later became 600. Yeah, because the thing about it, once you're able to sell to pay the owner of the land, what is left, you can do shakara and sell at any amount. If they want to buy, buy. So that was how we worked around it. But mind you, how would we have sold 17 acres if we have not raised people? Remember those days when we were going to pay them commissions, we will pay with check so that they can show people that see, have earned, you know, just to motivate other people to come join us. And today we have over 3,000 people in our team spread across the nation. And, but uh, then it was two, three people so today when we are organizing events, that's why everywhere is jam-packed, everywhere. Anytime we host any major event outside of this office, you get our people, we have branches in um, eight locations today. You know, we have in Abuja, in um, Ilori, in Oweri, and like that. In Lagos here, we have four major branches. And all of this started from a kubiku here in Akonwajo. In the last four or five years, we've taken over 150 people to Dubai, all expense paid. They don't pay a dime. By just selling for us, every year we say, okay, if you sell this, you get, we've given out over 30 cars now to people. Uh, I'm interested to know that outside of pertinence, I have other businesses. I'm into agriculture under the company. I have a business, Global Real Limited, as a consultancy business because I consult for people. I mastered the act of drawing business plan, writing a business plan early enough in life. So even before I read startup business, I was doing that for a fee. People come to me, any area I can work a business plan for you with which you run your business. Later I started consulting for people. You don't need a certificate to be a consultant. You just need to have done something that people want to copy. So people come to me to ask for business advice. And of course, all of a sudden it's quite that there is counseling and there is consulting. So I separated it. When you come for counseling, I give you for free. When you are consulting, you pay a fee. You understand? And Gradually, so that went to me registering Global Real Limited. It's a company owned by me. I have Global Real Agricultural Services. I have a farm in Ogun State, over 20 acres, where we grow palm tree, we grow cocoa, we grow maize, we only I have an only farm of like three acres where we produce only also. Then also I have another business not far from here. It's a supply chain business or a chain store, shop at discount. We patterned after our mat. We are just starting, but it's going to grow very big. If you are driving on that road, you a very big uh, shop at discount. More like the shop rights, the, what do you call it, uh, all of that shop. The red. So we are just growing. It's new anyway, but it's uh, going to grow bigger. So those are businesses. 
because my own investment strategy is put 70% of your funds where your mouth is, where you can monitor. Put 30% with other people. So I have funds with other people. Of course, in, in stocks, I do that. I invest in shares. I have insurance um, products that I've bought into. I fixed deposit. I all other regular uh, money and capital market instrument. I do all of them. Uh, you see, when it comes to real estate business, the numbers can be very interesting. Mm -hmm. It doesn't result in profit. It's how you manage yeah, the numbers. Well, I can only say in the last um, four years, our annual turnover has been in billions, not in millions.